The aluminum extrusion process starts with a die being loaded into the press. The die has openings that will create the profile when the aluminum is pushed through. Dies are preheated to prevent the aluminum from sticking in these openings. Next, the raw alloy is brought to the press in the form of a billet. The billet is a solid cylindrical length of alloy that can be up to 72 inches long. The billet is then placed into a heating furnace and heated to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature allows the billet to become soft, yet still maintain its shape in a solid form. Note that the aluminum has not changed color, even as it exits the heating furnace at 900 degrees. The heated billet is now loaded into the press. As pressure is first applied, the billet is crushed against the die. Then, as the pressure increases, the soft but still solid aluminum has no place else to go and begins to squeeze out through the opening of the die to emerge on the other side as a fully formed profile. The extrusion is cooled after emerging from the die, either naturally or through the use of air or water quenches. This is a critical step to ensure sufficient metallurgical properties after aging. The extrusion is then transferred to a cooling table. A stretcher is used after the profile has been cooled to straighten the extrusion and correct any twisting that may have occurred after the extrusion. A finish cut saw is used to cut the profile to the specified commercial length. Extrusions are then placed on racks as they are prepared for the aging process. Extrusion alloys reach their optimal strength through the process of aging sometimes known as age hardening. Natural aging occurs at room temperature. Artificial aging takes place through controlled heating in an aging oven. The aging oven further strengthens or hardens the profile through controlled thermal treatments that affect the metallurgical structure of the alloys, yielding maximum strength, hardness, and elasticity for the profile. Once the extrusion process is complete, the die is removed from the press and cleaned of any residual aluminum. After cleaning, the die is inspected and prepared for the next time it will be used to extrude this profile.